Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, I'm coming to you live from my very own studio. And what I'm about ready to say to you is as Eric Dieters, the Bulldog, from his studio. I am not doing this video from Dieters Law. I'm doing it from my studio. And what I'm about ready to say is being said as Eric Dieters, the Bulldog, retired Ohio lawyer. Today, just released, was a Supreme Court decision written by Judy French and joined by Maureen O'Connor and other Republican judges, including two special judges that Maureen O'Connor appointed to replace Fisher and DeWine, who recused. In a five to two decision by the Ohio Supreme Court, they decided that two of the Durrani victims, because the case was Rule 41A dismissed in Butler County and refiled in Hamilton County, that the time frame of their surgery to the time that the refiling was over four years meant that they couldn't continue with their claim. It is the most preposterous decision in the history, probably, of the Ohio Supreme Court. Here's what it means. There is a rule that every lawyer, especially plaintiff's lawyer, use all the time called Rule 41A. It allows you to dismiss and refile a case anytime within a year. And that's exactly what we did. Why did we do that? Because Butler County juries weren't very friendly. We had every right to do it. Every right to do it. And in fact, we researched the law before we did it. And there was a, an appellate decision that was favorable to our side. So what happens? The defense raises this issue again in Hamilton County. Judge Schweikert readily granted their decision. The first district court of appeals reversed that decision and agreed with us. 100% correct decision. The Supreme Court wrote a decision that basically said the statute of repose trumps the Rule 41A decision. It's a joke. It's a complete joke. Guess who wrote the decision? Judy French, on her last day in office, the voters of Ohio defeated Judy French, and Maureen O'Connor has Judy write the pro-hospital, pro-insurance company, pro-healthcare decision on her last day in office, and all the Republicans joined in. The two Democrats on the court voted for fairness and justice. I gotta ask all of you this question. Would you ever vote for a law in the state of Ohio or any state that said no matter when you found out about something, you had to bring that claim within 40 years or too bad, even though it wasn't your fault, you didn't find out about it? It is unbelievable. I want everyone to know that Dieter's Law plans to file a motion to reconsider this decision with the Supreme Court, which means the Democratic justice who defeated Judge French will be in on the decision to reconsider it. It's going to be interesting. In addition to that, we will take this appeal, if necessary, all the way to the United States Supreme Court. The practical effects of this is not very great, and here's why. In any case where this is an issue, we're going to continue to the appeal process through the Court of Appeals and to the Ohio Supreme Court. Why? Because there's now three Democrats on the Ohio Supreme Court, and who knows what the future holds. Not only that, most of the Durrani victims had more than one surgery, and at least one of those surgeries are in the time frame of the four-year statute of repose issue. So this changes nothing for Dieter's Law approach to the litigation. This changes nothing in the battle for justice for these victims against medical protective Dr. Durrani and the hospitals that are involved. We are steel, meaning like U.S. steel. And we are going to continue the fight on this issue and all the other issues we have to contend with every single day. Guess who 
Judge Justice French was reporting the paper yesterday. Justice French is a finalist to be appointed to the Public Utilities Commission in the state of Ohio. You know the one that's embattled. Justice French is a political whore. She gets voted off the Supreme Court of the state of Ohio. Now she goes searching for another job for corporate America, healthcare, big business. That's how she rolls. This is absolutely outrageous. And it just shows to you, folks, how the medical community owns, owns the Republicans on the Ohio Supreme Court. It's unbelievable. Maureen O'Connor was elected and reelected for millions and millions and millions of dollars. Unbelievable. Yet, just think about it. Not only this decision, Maureen O'Connor has no problem letting hundreds of Dr. Durrani victims go eight years and still no trials. Maureen, Fisher, DeWine, French, Kennedy, the visiting judges, the whole lot of you, the documentary has begun. And when people watch this on HBO or Netflix or wherever they watch it, I am going to control what your legacy is. That legacy is one of corruption, injustice, outrageousness. It's off the charts. You're bought and paid for. It's going to be fun. You're going to enjoy binging while you're tied up with coronavirus, probably in 22, watching what we lay down on you. And it's all going to be the truth. I and Dieter's Law will continue to fight for these Durrani clients the way we always have and always will. And we will get each one of them their justice from Dr. Durrani, medical protective, and whatever hospital. Loud, the butcher of Pakistan. Yes, the butcher of Pakistan. Think about that, folks. The Supreme Court of the state of Ohio, Judy French, Maureen O'Connor, Sharon Kennedy, and the rest of the Republicans, they gave Dr. Durrani a temporary win today. The butcher of Pakistan, who was criminally indicted, who fled to Pakistan, has lost his license in Pakistan, and is too chicken shit to stay in the United States and face justice. They voted for him today. That's how deep the corruption of health care and the Ohio Supreme Court is. It's that deep. This is far from over. And you know what? In the end, we're going to prevail for all these victims. This is the bulldog. Every dog has their day. Marvin O'Connor, Sharon Kennedy, Judy French, and the rest of you, I hope you have a coronavirus infection during Christmas.